The Green Academy is Douglas Bird's effort to try to focus uh, curriculum on uh, green things, uh, things that uh, students uh, should be learning about their uh, environment and about the use of natural resources, including energy, of course, in the, in the environment and how they can have a positive influence on the environment. Well, from this program standpoint, the eTracker project was one where we tried to help them understand the relationship between their energy use at home on a daily basis and the influence that the weather has. And we also gave them other uh, assignments within uh, the eTracker program. Uh, one was to analyze the 12-month utility billing history that they have so they can see how much they use on average uh, every month regardless of the weather and then also how much they use during those extreme months when it's very hot or very cold and our experience here was that the students uh, at home used anywhere from twice to three or four times as much during the very hot or cold months than say on average uh, just for their baseline usage. E-Tracker is just the, the name for our program and the E stands for energy or electricity uh, and the tracking part is something that they do every day. So to understand how the usage varies with things like the weather, uh, they track their daily electric use, so they had to read their meter every day, and the difference between one day's read and the second is the usage for that day. And then the weather, they tracked on a, uh, a site called temptracker365.com. So they were able to see what the high temperature was for every day and the low temperature was for every day. From that, they computed an average temperature, and from that, they computed how many degree days there were for that day. And degree days is an indication of how severe the weather was, either hot or cold. Conservation ethic is an ethic where you try to get people to understand how they have an impact on the environment. It's just them individually themselves, but when you add up across the mass of everybody, then you can see a, a change or you can see uh, some kind of um, trend. And a conservation ethic would inspire people to realize that you know, they do have an impact on the environment, that they consider how much energy they use um, on a daily basis and how that impacts the whole of um, not only their community but the world as a whole. So if they understand that they do have an impact and they can affect a positive change, uh, then that uh, is a positive impact on the environment. Uh, in tracking their energy use and in tracking the weather, uh, they were able to utilize a statistical tool um, called uh, R-square or correlation coefficient, uh, of which linear regression is kind of the, the general math and, and statistical term. So being able to see trends in energy use based on changes in the weather uh, this was a, a practical application, something that they could easily get their head around. Um, the weather will influence the usage at their home for heating. So that's not hard for somebody to understand. And when they collect the data that backs up that hypothesis, then it all comes together for them and they can see how those relationships exist. And by using that statistical tool and linear regression uh, on something that's practical, then it becomes easier for them to extend that to another problem. There are big opportunities in what's called big data, and big data is kind of the trend for where um, business and industry is going. They collect a lot of information about a variety of things in banking and insurance and utilities and retail all across the board. And the ability to be able to analyze all that information that business and industry collects is going to be a, a good tool in any student's toolbox as they go forward and try to find a career. So if they can, again, um, do a practical application where they can easily understand what it is that they're collecting data about and then analyze that data and it makes sense for them, then that's a tool they can apply as they go forward into either college or in, in the working world. PwC was a big player in this project. They had already started a program with the Green Academy to help the students understand how they use energy at home. And so they're incenting the students every month to see which student home can reduce the usage from one month to the next. So it was a, a perfect starting point for us to be involved with eTracker. And they were a you know, great partner to work with throughout the whole project.
In the Green Academy, I learned a lot about energy uses and how the weather affects the energy. Um, I learned a lot about green technology, such as solar, wind, water, stuff like that. My parents were a little interested at first. My father, being the fact that he is in this business at one point in time, he was giving me a lot of lessons before they were teaching me here. Uh, he helped me get some of the meterings in the beginning, but after that he was like, I need to learn how to do it on my own. Um, I didn't manage to lower my energy uses that much because my father kind of already went ahead and did that before it happened, before this program, but I did learn a lot about it. I would recommend that other students join the Green Academy. They learn a lot of interesting stuff. and They, they develop a lot of skills that they, that they can use later on in life. They can get a lot of good jobs, get, go to a lot of good colleges. It's definitely a pro program I recommend for other students. Honestly, from the um, program, it's my favorite part it was the e-tractor. It was being going and reading all the meter readings, um, comparing it to the temperatures, putting it into charts. That was my, fun, my favorite part, honestly. Um, PWC has been extremely helpful in uh, bringing an extra additive to the program, um, bringing guest speakers. We always like to not hear from me all the time um, and bringing a new perspective besides just me. Um, and they really brought a hands-on approach, um, talking about all different things from insulation to all the way to how that affects energy use to duct work to bringing uh, electricity to us, which was really great. Um, some of the things my students have learned is that they shouldn't leave um, things like the lights on or their TVs on or their Xbox on that's constantly plugged in all day long when they're not home using it. Um, not only that, but they definitely have learned to try to get their siblings um, or their parents to try to follow their steps as well, making sure that once again the lights are off um, and then just recycling you know, all the green stuff that we love to incorporate um, here in the Academy.